Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, either you just got into nursing school or you're in the middle of nursing school. If you're in the middle of nursing school, I'm praying for you. It's tough. So if you're struggling to pass your classes, I'm here for you. We're gonna get through this. Take a deep breath, relax. You got this. Let me just tell you guys who I am. My name is Rachel, I'm a registered nurse. And I've been a registered nurse for about a year now. I've worked in an observation unit, in the emergency room, and right now I'm a cardiac nurse. And I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about passing nursing school so you can achieve your dream of becoming a nurse. Full disclaimer though, it's probably gonna be a long video, so definitely get comfortable, get a cup of water, tea, whatever suits your fancy, and get a pen and a notebook, because it's gonna be a lot of information. First thing you need to know is nursing school is really, really, really hard. It's honestly like P90X for your brain every day for four years until you graduate, no lie. So if you find yourself worrying about quizzes, tests, clinicals, spoiler alert, it's normal. We've all been through it. You go and look back on this and be like, thank God I got through that, it's over. And you honestly have to remember, if I can do it, you can do it. It's been done before. People have passed nursing school. It's not uncommon. It's definitely difficult, but what you're feeling right now is temporary. So my first tip is to buy an agenda. This has saved my butt so many times because when you're taking four to five classes and you have clinicals and you have a work schedule and you have a family and you have friends, you have pets, you have all these things going on in your life, it's so easy to miss just one assignment. My worst nightmare going to nursing school was going to class in the morning and finding out that there is a test that very morning and you didn't know and you're not prepared. Uh. So definitely invest in agenda. It'll be honestly the best purchase you ever make. And it's like super cheap. It's like 10 bucks at Walmart. Next, you need to sign up for a tutor. And I cannot emphasize this enough. You are honestly going to benefit so much by having a tutor. So go sign up. They're usually free. Your college usually offers them. Um, and it'll be usually people that have just taken the class last year. So it's another opportunity where you can make friends and get to know upperclassmen and figure out what you need to know for this class. Is this a professor that goes straight by the book? You have to read every chapter, every sentence. They're gonna test you on the most minute thing. Or is this a professor who only goes by the PowerPoint and you only need to know what they say in class? It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches. Honestly, the professor has a billion students that they're teaching. They're not gonna have time to answer every question. And it's nice to have that like one-on-one -on -one time with somebody who's been through it and they know what you're going through because it's hard. Nursing school is hard. I don't care what anybody says. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, which kind of leads me into my next point. Once you get a tutor, if you don't understand something, even after the tutor goes through it with you, don't be afraid to email the professor and ask them to meet one-on-one -on -one with you. I used to do this every now and then. I would contact the professor and they would be more than willing to meet up with me either before or after class or on the weekend, whatever it is. And sometimes if you do that, they can explain it in an easier way or just go slower so you can understand the topic more. I remember we were going over, I think it was how to interpret ABGs or something like that. And I was just not getting it. And the professor had this whole formula on how to do it. And I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Sorry. She was like, meet with me after class. We'll go over it. Da, da, da. I was like, okay, we meet up. Totally understood it after that because she took the time to actually go slow made sure I understood it step by step before going on to the next subject. So sometimes that's really helpful. My next tip is to take notes, not just any notes, take them by hand. I'm telling you, you will thank me so much. If you print out those PowerPoints before class and then next to each slide, you do your notes and then at the end of it, you rewrite them, you'll remember this material so much better. I remember I was trying to decide between typing my notes or handwriting them. I decided to do handwriting because one of my biology professors was telling me that there was a study done that students who write their notes versus typing them remember way more and do way better on tests. I honestly think this is true because I wrote all my notes and then rewrote them after class. and. I did so much better than if I typed them. Cause when I typed them, I was just writing, you know, 
doing it, da, da, da. but it's like you don't really remember it. The more senses you use in either studying or writing your notes, the better. I remember one of my good friends, she actually used to act out putting on the PPE and say it while she was doing it. So she would be like, gloves, gown, all that stuff, and she would like kind of make a dance, and it helped her remember so much more. So the more senses you put into things, the better. Also, when you're rewriting your notes and making that study guide for the exam, make sure that you highlight the most important parts because it's easy to just read it but not absorb it and if you have colors that kind of jump out at you it kind of goes oh I, I need to remember that you also need to make sure that you give yourself enough time to review all the information before the exam so just a point of reference what I used to do give myself one to two weeks to review the material before the test so I would put in my agenda two weeks before the exam I would say hey, make sure you start reviewing this material. And then like a couple days later, I'd be like, hey, make sure you're reviewing this material. And then when it came to the exam, I was like, oh, I already know this stuff. I already reviewed, I wasn't stressed out. A lot of people would wait till the last minute. Um, and that's just never a good idea because there's always too much material to remember in a couple days. If it was a midterm or a final, I would make sure I'd give myself at least a month, a month, okay? to review all the material for that one exam. My next point is kind of fun. This is about making nursing friends. You are gonna meet so many people in nursing school and you're all gonna bond and you're gonna be friends for life. They're so supportive and they help you so much. But when it comes to studying, make sure that you're studying with friends that are taking nursing school seriously, are studying the way you like to study. Because let's be honest, it's good to study by yourself, but sometimes it gets boring and <laughs> Sometimes you need another perspective or just a good laugh because it can be kind of stressful. And even if you don't have nursing friends right away, you can always have your family or good friends from high school test you. You can even recite the material that you're learning to your dog, to your fish, to your child, your plant, I don't know. Also, side note, if you go on ratemyprofessor.com, that's also helpful to kind of gauge what your professors are going to be like and what they're going to expect from you. It gives you the point of view of the student because a lot of the students will go on there and they'll review the professor. Another thing that's important is practice questions on the topic that you are studying because at first I was like I don't want to do practice questions you know they're not helpful I'm just gonna study the notes and what the professor says. I'm telling you do the practice questions. They will help you so much. They'll also help you prepare for NCLEX later on. It'll teach you how to answer those types of nursing questions. Nursing questions are different than just regular multiple choice. Yes, they're multiple choice most of the time, but they have a different structure. There's right and then there's most correct, not so correct, and it's just, you'll learn all about it. But when you're doing those, make sure that after you're done the practice question, if you get it wrong, read that rationale because you wanna make sure you know why you got it wrong, so that way when you go to the test, you don't get it wrong again. <laughs> For example, I can memorize a math formula, no problem, but if I don't understand how or when to incorporate the math formula or why it's important, the information that I just memorized is pointless. And last but not least, take time for yourself. This means go to the gym, eat right, get sleep, which is very hard to do, but do it. Take a day off, do a 30 minute study break when you're studying with your friends or just by yourself to go for a walk. This is essential to passing nursing school and to keep going and not get burnt out because if you're all work and no play, you're just gonna hate nursing. And when you have those days where you're like, I'm over this, I quit, you need to remember the reason why you wanted to become a nurse and why you decided to do this. Just remember, nursing school is only temporary and all your hard work will be worth it. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe to support my channel. And I'll be doing more nursing videos and lifestyle, vlogs, DIYs, fun projects. It won't be just nursing. Um, and I wish you luck with your nursing journey. And let me know down in the comments what you'd like me to do a video on next pertaining to nursing. Until next time, bye.